you will no longer be required to wear masks on planes within Europe. Unfortunately, today is my last day here in Gran Canaria in Spain. I'm gonna go over with you all the tips and tricks for flying around Europe right now, the changing mask rules, and that also includes flights. What you need to know for going in and out of destination hotspots like here in Spain or in Italy. Now let's go. The good news is, is that the rules are easing all the time as we get into the warm summer months. Everything is becoming super easy. Easier for you to get on a flight, come across the Atlantic from the United States or wherever you are in the world and get here to Europe or get to Italy. For example, they dropped that dreaded digital passenger locator form that you had to fill out before you flew into Italy. That no longer exists. They also got rid of the mask rules for almost everywhere in Italy and most of Europe is the same. I have a flight today to Bologna in Italy from here in Gran Canaria. Along the way, I'm gonna break down all the new travel rules that you need to know for flying into Europe, for flying into Italy. Things are changing all the time and for the better, so you wanna keep up to date on all the new rules. And if you never heard of the Canary Islands, it's these set of Spanish islands off the west coast of Africa, a great place for holiday or vacation to escape the European or the North American cold winter. These Spanish islands, it's always warm. You didn't think I'd leave Gran Canaria without one more beach visit. Look at this place, a little paradise, Playa de Amadores. So my friend Andy, he's in Sicily, sends me a photo of him drinking a spritz there on the island. I was so jealous. A spritz, well that has Aperol in it soda water and Prosecco vino. Well, the good news is for him and for everybody else flying into Italy, it's super easy. As it is in most of Europe, you can get in in three different ways. The easiest way is have a vaccination. The second way is a negative COVID test. The third way is proof of recovery in the last six months. For your vaccination, keep in mind you need to be up to date. That means your primary two dose cycle or one dose if it's J and J needs to be done within the last nine months. And don't come on the limit because if you come on the limit, it's gonna be invalid by the time you get to Europe or to Italy. And if it's over nine months, you're gonna need to get the booster in order to have a valid vaccination. Most places around the world and certainly in Europe, Consider your vaccination invalid if you've passed nine months, but once you get that booster, there's no problemo. You can travel to Europe and not worry about any time limits. And let's talk about those latest changes too, because as of May 1st, Italy caught up with most of the rest of Europe because you no longer need to wear a mask once you're in Italy. Well, in a few specific places, like on public transportation, the mask rule still stands as of May 1st. So on planes, of course on trains, on buses, and in places like hospitals or healthcare places, you're gonna need to have your mask on. But no longer will you need to put on your mask to go into a coffee shop, only to take it off when you sit down at the table to drink a coffee. The same with restaurants, the same with shopping centers. You're free to go, including museums as well. So get over to Italy, get over to Europe, and enjoy it, because now you can do so mask-free. I love Gran Canaria. Now mark this date on your calendar, May 16th. You will no longer be required to wear masks on planes within Europe. This is the new ruling from the European Aviation Industry for Safety and the European Center for Disease Control. This falls in line already with the decision in the United States not to require passengers to wear masks on planes and as a step back towards returning to normal for flights and passengers. While this is good news, bear in mind some or all airlines may require passengers to still wear masks, and that would be like an FP2 or the KN95 mask, or they may require you to wear a mask if the flight is going towards a destination where countries still require mask wearing on their public transportation. And that's also the case with Italy. The Italian government reiterated its rules for public transportation the other day, at least until June 15th. And that includes airplanes. 
you must continue to wear a mask. And that's also the case for Spain, said the Spanish government. And remember, that means the high quality KN95 or the FFP2 mask. But in general, Europe is going in the right directions with this rule change starting May 16th. Now let's get back to the video. But this is good news as we're heading back towards those pre-pandemic days. Gracias. Adios. Before traveling to a country, it's always best to check with the country what the rules are. And that also applies for here in Europe because every country has different rules that it applies. The ending of mask requirements on planes is massive. Already in Europe, you can travel, already in Europe, you can travel around most places and not even need your mask at all. For example, on this vacation here in Gran Canaria, I brought three masks along. I kept them in the Airbnb and never even used them the entire time. The only time I had it was when I flew from Italy to Spain. Look at that, that's a massive ceiling fan. It will vary country by country, but already in most European airports, you no longer have to wear a mask and you can just almost lost my bag and you could just walk around as it was before 2020 but once you get on the flights that's where the rules may vary check those rules depending on which flight depending on the destination you may need to wear a mask I mean you may find yourself wanting to wear a mask when you're in the airport or on the airplane just to help protect yourself against anything including like the cold Priority pass. Welcome to the VIP room. Enjoy it. This has to be one of the cooler lounges with outdoor space. You can watch the planes take off and land out here or do as these people are, lounge out here with the fresh air. It's better here inside. It's too hot outside. I had that big lunch there on the seaside. I really don't need more food, but I thought I'd get a little snack, some fresh fruit and a, <laughs> and a coffee. <laughs> I have to say, this is one of the best small airport lounges I've seen in Europe. Coffee's terrible though. Even without the lounge access, my tip, get to the airport early so you can get some work done before your flight. Bye. Adios. For this flight, when I booked it, I uploaded my vaccination card, my green card, which is what we have here in Italy and in Europe. If you don't have a digital card, you would show your card when you check in at the gate to give your baggage at the airport. In Europe, we have these low cost flights and one of the lowest cost airlines is Ryanair, but it's always a big mess for boarding and any extra baggage you have, you pay a massive fee, use it with caution. Now there are other low cost airlines in Europe as well that you can use when you're flying within Europe. Ryanair is the most famous one and the most recognized with the cheapest tickets, but you have a lot of budget options, the seats, the leg room, it's really cramped. The other two options that I can think of right now are Welling and EasyJet. I prefer both of those, Welling and EasyJet over Ryanair. For now, gotta put the mask on, at least until May 16th. Thank you. We are now back in Italy. It's 25 minutes past midnight and I have an hour drive, hour and a half drive to get back home to Florence. If you're loving these travel adventures like I'm loving them, please give this video a thumbs up. And also if you wanna support me and support the community here that I'm trying to grow on YouTube, please consider giving a super thanks. It'd be much appreciated. And if you're not yet subscribed, what's wrong with you? Subscribe already. Also, drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this new rule change. Do you think it's a good idea? And what do you think that'll mean for traveling in Europe and your plans to come and visit Europe? Stick with me because at the end of this video, once I get home, I'm gonna break down what I think will be the next steps what rules will they ease next as we head into the summer and hopefully the pandemic is nearing its end. What will the next step 
be as we ease the travel restrictions. It's 2.30 in the morning. That was a long drive. The next step, well, what I think the next step will be is that they will drop the requirements for a vaccination card or a negative coronavirus test to fly. But it won't be until 2023 that they'll drop the vaccination card or negative coronavirus test for those international flights. But right now, it is super easy to travel to Italy. But none of that matters right now because I've had a long day of traveling from Gran Canaria in Spain here to Italy and I need to sleep.